Hello and welcome, a happy new year to everybody on this New Year's Day. The first day of each year is always celebrated as the solemnity of the Mother Mary, the Mother of God. The early Christians already called her Theotokos, which means God-bearer, for indeed she bore in the womb the Son of God. She is called Mother of God, not in the sense that she is the source of the life of God, for she is not. She is called Mother of God not because she is higher than God, for she is just a creature. She is called Mother of God simply because she bore in her womb and gave birth to Jesus Christ, the Son of the Eternal God. As we begin this new year, the Church invites us to honour Mary, the Mother of God. Just as a human life starts in the womb, our mothers also look after us. We begin another year with the mother in all humankind in the church, the womb of the church. All of us can easily resonate with the experience of having a mother. The thought of a mother always gives a soothing, peaceful feeling to every human being. Perhaps we can still recall her tender and loving voice as she sings lullabies to us, her soft hands caressing our hair as we snuggle in her warm embrace. The sweet aroma from the kitchen as she prepares dinner for the family. We often say, home, sweet home. And that is primarily due to the sweetness and comfort that a mother can give a child. Jesus, the Son of God, experienced this with his mother, Mary. And he wanted to share this wonderful experience with us. That is why, when he was hanging on the cross, he entrusted his mother, Mary, to us, to be our mother too. We have therefore our own mother Mary, and we have our own mother. We therefore think about her as lovingly caring for us as she cared for her son Jesus. She also takes care of us. What a consolation and joy for all of us. For most of us, as we enter the new year, we do so perhaps at this year particularly in some trepidation and have lots of worries. Our world seems to be in turmoil as wars rage in the Ukraine and the Holy Land. Today is designated as Peace Sunday. For Christians, we begin the new year with God and we look back on the past year and we give praise and thanks to God for his protection and all his blessings that he has given us. And as we look ahead to the new year, we implore his continued providential guidance and presence in our life. We take courage from the words of St. Paul, if God is with us, who can be against us? I'd like to close today with a special prayer that was written by the late Pope Benedict XVI, whose anniversary of his death occurred yesterday. He wrote this on his occasion to the visit to the Holy Land, and he placed it in the crevices of the Western Wall, that great place of prayer for the Jewish people. This is what he prayed and was written. God of all ages, on my visit to Jerusalem, the city of peace, spiritual home to Jews, Christians and Muslims alike, I bring before you today the joys and hopes, the aspirations, the trials, the suffering and the pain of all your people throughout the world. God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Hear the cry of the afflicted, the fearful, the bereft. Send your peace upon this holy land, upon the Middle East, upon the entire human family. Stir the hearts of all who call upon your name to walk humbly in the path of justice and compassion. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul that seeks him. May this coming year bring each one of you many blessings and joys and many hopes fulfilled. God bless you.